Okay, y'all, I did myself a treat at the Tarot Symposium, and I got myself the Garbage Pail Kids deck. Now, the reason I got it is in part because it is written by Minerva Siegel, the book that comes with it. The illustrations are by Miran Kim. Don't know who Miran Kim is, but uh, Minerva Siegel is a cool person who is in the Tarot community and knows their Tarot game. I looked at a deck of this already and was impressed with how... Give you her ASMR. Ooh, ASMR unboxing. Um, I was impressed with how the cards were legit, traditional, and I was excited about it. So, this is Jenna from Present Path to Row, and we're going to do the unboxing of the Garbage Pail Kids. It comes with a book, Ooh. and the book is written by Minerva Siegel. So, I'm excited to check out the book. It's going to have legit, actual meanings of the cards. And I'm guessing there's going to be some humor mixed into it. Um, and as you can see from just this flip through of just the book, the deck is pretty hilarious. It's It's got some real clever takes on the traditional cards. So, excited about this. Let's see, put that over there. Comes with a box. The box has some sort of booger goo on the sides, I'd say. And the back of the box has, you know, it's... Uh, Licensed by top, so this is an official edition. But you can use that as an actual box if you need to. Okay, starting with a sort of Buddha-like monk for our first with the dog hanging off the back. Traditional fool card vibes. Magician card. Um, I love all the elements going on. He's got a snake belt. And it looks like he's on top of a vineyard. So there's a lot of elements of the original card with four elements that so he's balancing. High Priestess is going a different direction where she's in space and she has some sort of, looks like a divination uh, crystal ball over her head, lots of eyeballs for her omniscient nature. I don't completely get this Empress. I mean, she's got some crazy white hair. The dandelions are fertility, flowers. Okay, I don't know. All right, don't quite get it. Emperor card, we get the beginning of the mind blown vibe. There's a lot of mind blown in this deck. Um, as a flavor. And obviously, talking about brains, this Hierophant is big-brained. Each of the cards has their own name in the deck um, that you can see in the book that comes with it. And uh, Mind Blown, Lover's Card, they're united as one. Uh, they're <laughs> there's, some, there's some rainbow snakes making out that are parasitical on a bird. I mean, hey, why not? He doesn't have a chariot, but he does have the sphinxes, again, coming out of his head. Some of the symbols, like the triangle that's normally on the chariot. Classic Garbage Pail Kids look. I definitely got this deck because my mom would let me have these, and now I can, like, I'm an adult and I can do what I want. <laughs> so <laughs> this deck is definitely a deck for me. Hermit card, I mean, okay, we got some spider webs. I suppose that might represent the lantern, and in the background we have the the city that he's away from in nature. It, I feel like they went a, an interesting direction with that. Wheel of Fortune. Um, this character's in the original card and the snake, but uh, they, you know, missing the devil. But then we have the four characters. Oh, and look, the human representing cups is picking his nose. Oh, but the Justice card is truly dealing with some snot issues and bird vomit, perhaps. So funny how much this delighted me as a kid. The Hanged Man is actually a, one of the reasons I got this deck. I love that he's hanging from his own tongue. And that's the kind of violence I was really hoping for in more of the deck. Um, while this sweet little death card... <laughs> you know, I like the eyeball in the daisy. But he's so sweet. He's such a sweet little death card. I love the dead daisies around him, though. A lot of simple symbolism compared to the regular deck. And sometimes the cards are much more representative via Rider Waite Smith, but... Mm, she's dealing with temperance with her hands melting, as you do. And the devil card, the bat ears, I'm re guessing represent that uh, it's a bat character. Now, their chains are actually binding them. I do enjoy the sort of darkness of that. But in the original deck, the um, chains don't... Actually, they're loose and representing that you can release yourself of those. 
The character falling here has crackled himself while, interesting, the foundation of the tower is actually pretty strong, and there's actually, like, a character who is the tower with a guard around it. It's Some of these cards seem like they're really going for a level of symbolism that's unique. Star card has, like, lasers all over the place, I'm guessing. Uh, laser lines. And she's covered in blue tattoos. Not sure what... Maybe her name would explain what her vibe is. Moon card, uh, the shadow and light. Um, it's wearing a funny hat. And I like this little demon monster in there. Um, that's, I guess, representing the wolves as a werewolf. Simple sun card. Oops. Childlike nature. And um, simple. It's got a red car instead of a... I don't know. It's at a beach. Some of them go so simple and some go so complex. Uh, interesting mix. This is the classic Garbage Pail Kids vibe that I'm going for. The truth of all things and like the horn coming out of his head. I like this one a lot. This is one of my favorites so far. Um, and just the the zippered skin off is, is one of my favorite Garbage Pail Kids uh, things going on. World card. She's riding the world. Got the universe around her and the four elements in the clouds. Going into the King of Cups. They ordered these a little interesting. Um, so King of Cups, uh, alligator with a fish in its mouth. Queen of Cups, mermaid. And she still has that funny cup that is in the original. Pirate, Knight of Cups. And I love how this captures the original card with the fish jumping out of the bowl, but now the bowl is the head. Very cute. Ace of Cups. It looks like we're going for rainbows. Yep, rainbows in the cards. And so we have the um, original symbolism, but their faces are kind of meshed together. And Three of Coins... Siamese Twins. I really love this Four of Cups. I love how it's melting and um, just the true despondency of the disappointment you can feel in life sometimes, I feel is captured. I, You know, the art of these, I love art in cards, and this is still art even if it's childish. This is interesting because this is the bridge behind the Five of Cups card. They're a skeleton, I'm guessing, representing grief. And we have the two cups that they do still have and the three cups going down river. But they look pretty happy considering it's a grief card. <laughs> and six of cups, childhood, um, snot, vomit, you know, the classics. Seven of cups is just tripping out on all the different options. And the stuff coming out of the cups is very similar to what the original deck represents and has. I like this Eight of Cups. I love that she's escaping the chrysalis, getting out um, in a gooey, gooey chrysalis. I love this Nine of Cups because the gratitude of having this pile of what a fly would consider happiness and the gratitude this fly has is a, a lovely representation of the satisfied fly. Okay, we got farting uh happy babies farting rainbows you know full spectrum of experience and love there going into the king of coins with a dancing leprechaun who's also i believe shooting rainbows out of his ass and united we stand divided we fart keeping it you know on the elementary school humor level queen of coins has a cauldron witchy knight of coins is an actual knight and he's planting his seeds. Got a lot of flies. <laughs> and Page of Coins looking at himself. They are capturing some of the original symbolism. I oh, yes. I love this Ace of Coins with the melted hand and the um, diamond. You can't take it with you. Temporality of the earth. Okay. Um... Deciding among what to vomit about, I guess. Three of coins. I mean, this is not a beginner's deck. I don't think you'd really understand what he's putting out into the world. Is he putting his snot out into the world? Are the other monks approving it? I, I don't know. 
Um, four of coins, like a greedy baby. This reminds me of certain politicians. Classic five of coins, but with garbage pail kids. Nice old lady giving money. In trash we trust. Seven of coins, reminding us that this comes from Cabbage Patch Kids. This Garbage Pail Kids thing. And I also was obsessed with Cabbage Patch Kids as a child. So, yeah. Growing themselves. Eight of coins. Pretty classic. Nine of coins, a vulture with some regality around them. Interesting choice of a vulture for the satisfied nine of coins. And, uh... Yeah, ten of coins. We've got the old character up front with the babies in the background. Money spewing from their head. Going into the swords. Poking himself in the face. I like you can see a couple scars there. He clearly has poked himself in the face before. Has a sort of circus thing going on. Looks like she's cut her head off. But air. I can see the air element that she's floating and everything around her is floating. So they're capturing the air of swords. He's also kind of floating, and he's got a pretty great white tiger he's riding. It's fun. More of a John Travolta vibe going on here. Grease lightning hair. Okay, so the Ace of Swords, they've chopped themselves up a bit. Some good steak of the arm. I, I really love the morbidity stuff, and um, sometimes I don't shave my pits either, but... Um, got a sort of justice vibe here, which the original card does too. The identity crisis of the Three of Swords. All right, it's pretty classic image. They look like they're feeling pretty good in there though, <laughs> even though it's not a very happy card. So okay, we have uh, a vampire resting, reading his Garbage Pail Kids comic, and I wonder who this is in the background, what that's about. I, I don't know what that's about in reference to the original, other than there is a stained glass in the original. Five of Swords, he's defeated the aliens, but he's cut himself in the meantime into bits. So did he really win? <laughs> I love the Six of Swords with the eyeballs looking back at you. Um, freaking you out. Freaked out a little bit, but leaving town. I feel like there should be some salt involved in the snail theme, but okay. Seven of Swords, I don't know why he's Santa Claus, but he's stealing stuff and he's got the robber baron eyes on. Reminds me of the Hamburglar. Black Widow caught in her own web. I like that part. I don't get why it's a Black Widow, but uh, okay. And a very rested Nine of Swords. Usually it's more uneasy rest, but they clearly have a worm crawling through them, maybe representing the anxiety they're experiencing. Ten of Swords, Voodoo Doll. Makes sense as a take on that. King of Wands are going into fire now with um, Godzilla vibes and little people down here fighting Godzilla. It's fun. Queen of Wands has an earwax problem. Her cat has changed color, but she still has her sunflower. I love this one. I, I just To me, look at that. That's art. I love art, and that's some art right there. Um... Knight of Wands riding his horse. I don't know who I'm going to read these for, except for myself, because they delight me. This is... <laughs> I like this Page of Wands. He's got eyeballs all over him, and he's growing things. Pyramids? Yeah, I guess that's... I believe there's pyramids in the original card. A lot going on here. Some of the cards have a lot going on, and some have less. It's kind of funny. Growing tendrils out of him. Uh... Twisted in his desires, I'm supposing. Which direction to go with his desires. This looks a lot like the backside of the Emperor card. Um, mind blown again, looking out on the horizon. Eh, okay. Not a beginner deck, I'm just going to say. Um, yeah, Four of Wands is fun. Playful kids. Five of Wands. I mean, uh, I don't... I feel like this could have... This was a missed opportunity, you know? You got the Garbage Pail Kids. You could have had some real violence going on here. Um, and it's just like weird brains fighting each other? I... I okay. 
Six of Wands is cute. Got his brain on a stick now, I guess. Oh, I guess that's referring to the fact that he's defeated the brains and is carrying one on. The, it's a happy brain. And Cyclops, Seven of Wands. Battling aliens again. Second alien reference. Five of Swords. So what are those cards called? I remember the other sticker cards you could get in the 80s that had these... Um, they always had eyeballs coming out of their head and they were always riding a vehicle fast. So I love that double reference to the other types of sticker cards you could collect. Put in the comments what you know. And then Nine of Wands, I like him. He's really tired. He's got that crazy face. And he's still fighting, but he's been through some stuff. And Ten of Wands, overwhelmed, too many brains, too many things to carry. Classic. So these are the backs of the cards. And I do really like the floppiness of the cards. They have a nice flop to them. And they will shuffle and rifle very nicely. Um, so, yeah, the deck itself has a nice weight to it that I enjoy. And um, it's, it's a fun deck. I mean, why not? So this is Jenna with Present Path Tarot. And uh, please subscribe to my page. Please like and ding the bell. And um, follow me, and if you like, you can go to presentpathtarot.com and learn more about me. Let's give this one quick shuffle. So you can... Ooh. I like it. it. They're smooth. They're thick. They have a nice tensile to them. I call it a tensile. I hope that's the right word, but that's what I always call it. That's floppy but firm. So, yeah, looking forward to reading the book. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.